Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is Devin Adams and this is the second video of my using Florida Manager as a Florida Analyzer. So, in the last video we went ahead and configured the Florida Manager as a Florida Analyzer so it can do both functions and uh, we turned it on and it took a second to build the database but it eventually got there. Uh, but it's kind of worthless without plugging a FortiGate into it and start giving it log files to look at. So let's go ahead and uh, just for completeness here, let me load up my machine. All right, and we'll go to the Forda Manager. So here we go. It's now using Forda Analyzers, right? Features. So, but if we go to Device Manager, you can see there's nothing connected to the Forda Manager or the Forda Analyzer. All right. Now, one thing that we must realize is that even if you have a Forda Manager, you do not have to centrally manage the Forda gates to collect the log files. Okay. So uh, we might do that in a different demo, but for here, our goal is just to get the Forda gate to pass along log files to the Forda Manager, so it can start like generating reports and do all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get to our FortiGate. Now this FortiGate is this guy right here and we were a pharmaceutical company in the last demo so that's why it's Drugs R Us Lab. Nothing to do with like you know illegal drugs. So here we go. Drugs R Us. Catchy. Okay so here's my my FortiGate and if I go to my dashboard uh, you can see that my FortiGate um, let's see here is collecting logs. There we go. Looks like it's really crunching away too because I'm doing a whole bunch of log gathering. Um, but essentially, yeah, just looks like a FortiGate. No big deal. So uh, the first place I'm going to go is just to make sure I can collect logs. So if I go to my um, log and reports and I go to my log settings, you'll notice a couple of things here. One is the disk space. And as you can see just earlier, I kicked on a whole bunch of uh, logging. Why? Well, so I can get some log files to look at. <laughs> so it's working away, and I have internet noise up here that's collecting the logs. But they are being stored locally. So, and that is exactly what we're doing here. Uh, we're using the hard drive. All right, and you can see that our hard drive looks like it's about 22 gigs, and we've used about two megs of that. And also this. Enable local reports. Now I'm going to shut that off, and the reason why is because we're passing this along to the Forda Analyzer, Forda Manager, as a Forda Analyzer. We do not need to have that uh, extra uh, demand on our Forda gates if we're not going to be running the log, uh, the logs, or not the logs, the reports locally. So I'm going to shut that off. But uh, really, this is where it starts, and that is send logs to Forda Analyzer, Forda Manager. So I'm going to toggle that on. And the first thing it's going to want us to do is put in the IP address. Well, that's fine. I'm going to put in, uh, nope, it was 192.168.1.10. Now, there's a couple of things that we need to check after we do this. But for right now, uh, I know that's the IP address. And don't worry when you hit test connectivity and you get an error message here. All right. And that's because uh, we have not approved the device on the Ford Manager. So it is not allowing it to talk directly with it. So we're going to fix that here in just a moment. But right here we have to ask ourselves, do we want to store and upload the log files or see them in real time? That's going to be all up to you. All right, as a as a uh, as a administrator. So as you can see, we have daily, weekly or monthly log files that we can store. If I'm not worried about seeing events in real time on the Forda Manager, right? If I can just maybe use those Forda Analyzer features of the Forda Manager just for reporting, you can take advantage of being maybe uh, connected off hours to push all the log files going forward. And that way you can run your reports for the last week or what have you. Um, now, in real time, just understand that's going to be a little more resource intensive on the FortiGate because as log files get generated, they will be passed to the Forti Analyzer. Uh, really great, though, for devices that don't have hard drives. So if you don't have hard drives, then the Forti Manager can only store it or the FortiGate can only store it in its memory and and will lose that accountability of those log files once either the memory runs out, gets overridden, or you know, uh, the FortiGate gets rebooted. So now this whole encrypt the log transmission, 
Uh, I'm going to turn that off, right, just simply because we are on our, our local area network here and I'm just demoing it. It's going to be up to you if those uh, log files should be encrypted or not. Um, anyways, and then once everything starts working, we should see some kind of graphical representation of that happening. So uh, let's go ahead and hit apply. All right. And all right. That looks good there. So the next thing I'm going to want to check, though, is that I'm going to go to network and I'm going to go to interfaces. And then I'm going to try to find, here we go, port 3, where that uh, Forda manager lives off of. And if you guys notice, there's a special access that needs to be enabled whenever there's a Forda manager or a Forda analyzer that connects with the Forda gate. And that is the FMG access. So and you're, you're going to want to enable that on the interface that points to the Forda manager or the Forda analyzer. All right, I'm going to hit OK. So now they should be able to talk to one another. OK, that looks good there. So what now? Well, we have to go back to the Forda manager. And right away, I doubt it that you notice, but I have an alert. Wait, what? One unregistered device? Yeah. It's our it's our 40 edge pretty cool huh management modes logging only you see what I meant by we don't need to use the Forda manager features we can just use the Forda analyzer features and then I'm gonna add this device all right you're gonna need the credentials to log in okay uh, I'm gonna hit all right hit close and now it should show up as logging FortiGates, and we even get a green here showing that they are being passed in real time. And then over time, some statistics will show, and also device storage, so on, so on and so forth. All right, um, pretty neat, huh? So let's go over to our uh, log view now and see if they are getting any logs. So eh, it might take a little bit. Let's do a log browse. All right, so we have the 40, the 40 edge. And if you notice here, event logs and traffic logs are separated. So that's kind of cool, all right? And then group is where you can group FortiGates together. Uh, but let's look at the traffic log. I mean, there needs to be something there, right, guys? And there they are. Oh, my gosh. Look how cool that is. Look how cool that is, right? We have cool things like device ID. We have actions, right? We can filter, we can scour, you can even see the device ID here because we have device discovery turned on. We can look at the, the applications and the services because those are all turned on. How neat is that? Also, if we come over here to our 40 view, right? Okay, let's just look at traffic. Let's look at our top sources. Now, nothing is being seen here because we're saying the last 30 minutes, all right? But if we do the last five minutes maybe now it'll still probably take a, a second here um, to do this and that's fine we might come back to the the 40 view because really what's happening guys is the log files are coming in and then those log files come in raw and then after that they get indexed and those indexes puts them in the SQL server then using SQL commands we can do really cool things like reports and the 40 view but there's always going to be a little lag there's always going to be a little delay um, but that's okay because uh, we're usually just not sitting here watching it, right? Um, see what I mean? See how it now just came in the last five minutes? Um, top applications. What the heck is Vimo? I know what it is, but I don't know how it got there. Uh, I have a I have a make internet noise generating traffic for me. Um, interesting that those came through though. <laughs> Anyways. Um, top browsing users right uh, like I said it will eventually get get work in there so um, pretty darn cool though right guys pretty darn cool and obviously if we had threats or things like that happening uh, those could pop up too in fact let's go over to our event management and you can see here that we have certain events and if we go to our, our uh, types here we can drill down and look at the details and uh, and obviously my limited um, my limited GUI here you can't see too too much but I promise you guys this is how you can go ahead and acknowledge it 
failed to get information from dns1.fortinet.com okay sure uh, so on and so forth so pretty darn neat if you ask me so um, now for some reason the FortiGate also tries to communicate using syslog I'm gonna have to investigate into that I'm not too sure what's going on there but that is from my my FortiGate if anyone has a good answer for that you can leave a comment not like anyone ever watches these but that's okay all right guys so there you go so as you can see now we uh, connected the FortiGate to the Forti Manager for logging and then we viewed the logs so the only last thing I really want to show you here is if we go to our system settings you can add the widgets right over here you can toggle the widgets to actually look at and of course there's not enough there's not enough uh, data being collected yet okay but essentially you can see that insert rate and that receive rate or you can look at the log receive rate and that will even show you how many logs you're receiving for the last hour and that way if you think you're you're uh, supposed to see something that's not there in Forty View or for the log files, there is a difference between the rate and the insert rate and the receive rate. So the receive rate is how it receives on the FortiGate. The insert rate, right, is how it gets inserted into the database, and that can create some lag. So uh, that's why also there's a little insert log lag time here that you can see the differences. Um, just something to keep in mind. All right, and also right here, there it is, the licensing info. It looks like I am licensed to use one gigabyte worth of log data a day. And also, I'm allowed to have 100 gigs of storage um, for my Forta Manager. So if I go over that threshold, it's going to start asking me for a different license. Okay. And the hard coded, mo the hardware models are going to have their own hard coded limits in there too. So, all right, guys, that's all I have for you. So, there you go. That's how you can make your Forta Manager into a Forta Analyzer. Okay. And get all the benefits of, of having several devices uh, being viewed at, at one time. So, just kind of, kind of neat. See how this finally popped up, right? Um, yeah, I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And like I said, I'll try to uh, uh, do this last one as a bonus here in the next upcoming video. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email. And I'll see you guys later.